Howdy y'all, today's lesson is over how to cut down rod and tubing with a scoring knife. First things first, make sure your eyes are protected with something, with safety glasses or glasses, just something to make sure glass doesn't directly get flung into them. I'm gonna take my scoring knife and I'm gonna press with my thumb and my pointer finger and just press away from my body with my hands. And I'm gonna go over it again. So in the jaws of the scoring knife, pressure with my thumb and my pointer finger, turning the rod slightly, a small score as you'll see here i'll lose my score line and then turn it and then press and it will pop now we're going to move on to different types of tubing i'm going to take my handheld scoring tool i'm going to put it on the tubing i'll lightly press turn the rod making a small score line pressing away from my body i'm going to pop the tube in half now, after I make the amount of tubing that I desire, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna flame polish both sides of the tubing so that eventually when I want to work with the tubing and I put the end of the tube into my blow hose, no matter which end it is, it won't tear up the rubber end of my blow hose. And I do this just after years of accidentally cutting the rubber on my blow hose and needing to replace it. So now just out of habit, I go ahead and I flame polish both sides uh, so that they are ready to go as soon as I need them. So for this technique, we're gonna start by putting a score line into our piece of tubing from our scoring knife. Then we're gonna create a large bushy flame and we're going to put the first fourth of an inch of that score line into the flame, not the whole thing, just the front end of it and allow the heat to penetrate down into the score and causing surface and internal tension because of the rapid heating of the piece of tubing, which will cause a ring seal around the entire tube. And once that ring seal has been created, then you can just lightly push out with your hands and push the piece of tubing apart. So you'll see, see here just in a minute that we're gonna, it's gonna heat up, the crack will go through and we'll press and the tubing is now into two pieces. So for our last method, we're going to be taking our scoring knife, putting a score line into the tubing, and then we're going to take a clear punty, create a glob on the end of our punty, a glob of glass, and then we're going to set it on the center of that score line. And what that's gonna do is do the exact same thing as the flame. It's going to create internal and external tension on that purposely made crack that we have put into the tubing and it will pop it around in a ring seal and it will separate the tubing for us. So as you can see, hot glob onto the center of that score line, waiting for it to set up and now it's going to crack in half. And now you have two pieces of tubing. So it's an easy and accessible trick. Try it out, see how it works for you. Before I end the video today, I just wanted to go over that sometimes I will also flame cut my rod in preparation for quick and accessible pieces of rod that are clean and ready to be used at either end of the tip. So what I do is I put the rod in the flame, I heat it up, I separate it, and then I round off both sides of that piece of rod so that they are ready to be attached as a cold seal at any moment for the project that I'm currently working on for that day. So as you can see, I pulled away from the rod on that go and it's left this little stringer. I'm gonna go ahead and melt that in. And then the next time I do it, I'm gonna bicycle it away just to make sure we don't get any little stringy hairs that we have to melt back in because that just kind of actually takes up a little extra time. Remember that that end is very hot and you don't want to touch that. So just be active and aware of that so you don't burn your hand. You definitely do not want to touch that. That'll lead to a second degree burn. So what I'm doing here is I'm going in, heating it up, bicycling it apart, going ahead and melting it, making sure it's nice and even, rounding it off. And now both ends are ready for use. So just remember that if you are going to be using these quickly and kneading punties fast, to maybe make bridges or to make cold seals or even hot seals, this is actually a really great way of preparing your supplies for your project. 
Alrighty guys, thank you so much for stopping in for today's demo. I hope it was helpful. I know that it's like some pretty basic information, but not everybody knows every technique. And I also don't know every technique, but I figured I would share some of the more actively helpful things that can really improve the time and the management of your supplies before you even get started on your projects. All right, have a good one.